Have you noticed on From the Anvil that I only seem to ever film my videos in airports? Well, guess what, folks? I am in an airport. Again. I have been here six hours. I'm connecting from Nashville to Edmonton and I'm connecting here at Denver. I've been in this airport for six hours. I have about an hour and a half before I have to board my flight back to Canada. Uh, I'm glad that I actually chose this airport because otherwise I would have been stuck 12 hours at Toronto Pearson and that would have made me want to uh, literally die. So here I am in Denver. I spent nothing but eat in this airport because it's absolutely crazy every terminal you go. There's McDonald's, Chipotle, Dunkin' Donuts. Oh man, I'm gonna miss that place. And all those of other eateries. That's America for you. Everything's bigger and better here and it is what it is in a lot of ways in terms of the food. Canada still rules though. I've got my citizenship there, so I think I know where I'm staying for the meantime. But enough about my life story. Let's talk about the Spurs game, shall we? Pardon me, where it finished. West Ham United won, Tottenham Hotspur won at the London Stadium. Now, let's be real here. Spurs are a very good team and they have been for quite some time. I always say that if you're not going to beat Spurs, don't lose against them. We, don't, we didn't lose against them, we drew. And I'm pleased with the point that we got. Uh, not only because it's one point get more, but because we gained it in um, fighting fashion. We showed um, determination and commitment throughout the second half in particular. And a lot of individuals either improved or just continued to excel. And I'm going to talk about them in this video. Because um, a lot of players deserve praise from this. I wasn't sure how Spurs would play in this but I knew they'd give us a good run for our money we had to weather that storm so let's start off with the uh, that's a better angle let's start off with the team shall we major milestone for Rice because he made his 200th West Ham appearance appearance rather uh, as did Antonio I'm half asleep guys I've been in this airport all day I'm a bit tired so excuse me if I'm slurring my words or whatever Paqueta was on the bench he was introduced to the fans before the game to a massive applause. It felt like Ronaldinho was in the building in 2002. That's the same kind of vibe the fans got, apparently. It was loud and it was joyful. And then the bubbles came out and the teams walked out onto the field. Concerns that Zoom was hurt early on in the game. I still don't think he's 100% match fit, but um, we're still, he's still riding along with it and towing the line with Tilo Kura beside him. West Ham had to intercept a few crosses to get the Spurs away from the box. Bowen dragged a shot off target on his weaker foot, but he was uh, pressurised and still managed to take it half decent. Spurs got a penalty, which was conceded by Aaron Cresswell. How? People saying it hit his leg, people saying it hit his head. So it went to VAR and it went to the little screen, you know what I'm saying? Like, he did the Neil Buchanan, um, Bob Ross thing for those who are in North America. Uh, you know, where he does that. Like VAR, draw, draw me a rectangle. VAR overturned it and said, no, it's not a penalty. And it was right. It was right. It wasn't a penalty. Either way, leading up to that goal, both fullbacks were a bit useless. Cresswell just didn't have the pace. So foul wasn't really doing much early on, although he did step up his game a lot later on and really improved. Um, Rice forced Luis into action with a dip in shot. West Ham had like a flick counter. Four Nows Ben Rama, all those guys. Flick, fast paced counter. Kura as a centre back. Oh my goodness, we've been crying out for a player like this for so long. Kura is a real ball playing centre back who really slides into that midfield, cuts into it like a hot knife through butter. Literally, man, he just steams it through those D lines and midfields with his straight passes, flick, flick. Antonio hits the ball with a lot of ferocity and rigour and strikes it against the post. It's not like Antonio to take a one-time shot like that early because he usually faffs about, but no, eh, wasn't complaining. Ben Rahm was architecting that move, as was Kura. Spurs got a counter though from Rice trying to play two forward. Mistake was made, space was opened. Spurs countered with Kulosevsky, Kane, Came passing across the goal into the path of Sung Hun Min, 1 0 to Spurs. It looked like it was Sun's goal, but it actually came off Kura, sadly. I know people were saying, oh, he's absolute crap for that. No, I don't think there was much he could have done about that, to be honest. He couldn't have cleared it away even more, even if he tried. It just is what it is. 
shame. West Ham tried to push Spurs back, but a lack of midfielders preventing West Ham from playing down the middle. It was like Kura playing more middle balls than the midfield was at that point. I wouldn't say it was our worst performance in a long time, but we lacked penetration. We lacked the threat Spurs had. Just before the half-time break, Rice had an absolutely class challenge and Hoiberg went down hurt. He's just as bad as, like, the rest of them, like Grealish and all that lot with the diving. Hoiberg's just, oh... Uh, does my head in how, how pathetic he can be. Hoiberg dived again in the second half and was absolutely useless. West Ham did equalise though 10 minutes into the, into the second half. Thomas Suchek has been playing with a lot more confidence in the last few games and I think that game against Viborg when he got the goal really helped him because he got a goal in this one as well. Uh, more confidence and ability about him and the rest of the team. Uh, Antonio flicking it into the box. Suchek chests it on, controls it, fires it onto the ground, bounces into the net. In 1-1, one, one, the place erupts. Cressel was forced to block a Harry Kane shot. West Ham, again, flowing a little bit better. Bowen missed two good chances, though, which was a bit gutted about. And I think he needs to be dropped now and get some, maybe get in someone else on deadline day. I don't know what's happening at the time recording this. It is deadline day right now in the UK anyway. Piquetta was on for his debut to replace Ben Rama, and the place was going wild. To see the new record signing come on. Cresswell off for Ogbonna. West Ham counters become, became a lot more faster, but with no end result. Richardson came off and on K on sorry Charleston came on for Kulasevsky. And Emerson was on for four nails. Emerson I thought was looking good as well. Sujet got a bit more stuck in with his tackles and winning the ball back. Last chance of the game came when uh, the Brazilian connection, albeit working against each other like uh, the opposing forces on a magnet. Charleston gave the ball away with a blunder. Emerson gets it into the box, passed across Bowen doesn't quite reach it even though it's passed across the goal Bowen couldn't make it count and it end 1-1 good not to have won that take the point but I'm good not to have won that excellent all around and a big confidence booster you know what it is with West Ham we, we have had this habit of starting off seasons poorly and it takes one result or one goal or one moment for us to really start believing again I think we got that against Viborg or maybe even against Villa because I think we have now got that confidence back in the team. Kura was great again. He and Zuma are fantastic together. And Suchek's only getting better as well. Declan Rice, excellent performance too. Antonio, I thought did really well. Sofal played a little lot better in the second half. Zuma and Kura, amazingly good. Suchek, again, good performance. He gets a lot of praise from me. Ben Rama, really good as well. Four nails. Try to make the most out of the left wing back position. I would prefer it if Fornos took his chances a lot more. And if he scored more goals, obviously, we'd be playing him a lot more up front. Good result. And we can now go to Chelsea with a lot of confidence. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to sub for more content. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all soon.